Hello, my name is Professor Rory Ridley Duff and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create bylaws for a cooperative society either in an English-speaking country or in Great Britain. To create bylaws for a cooperative society you need to go to the Fair Shares Rules Generator and then if you scroll down the page you will see an option to generate society rules. When you go to this page you will see there are options for any English speaking country and also for the United Kingdom. Different countries can be quite strict about the way that you create cooperatives in law, particularly if you have cooperative law or society law that is separate from the law for associations and companies. So I will talk about differences between fair shares cooperatives in the UK and elsewhere, but I'm going to choose the Great Britain option. You'll know that you've got the right one for Great Britain because the title will have FCA accepted on the opening page. These rules have been checked by three lawyers in the Cooperatives and Mutual section of the Financial Conduct Authority in the UK. You can be sure that they conform to UK law. If you're working in another country and are using the generic English language version, you will need to check the provisions with your own regulator. To date, we know there have been successful adaptations in Ireland by Fair Shares Association member Sam Toland, and also in Canada by Gordon Casey. So if you need help in those countries, join the association's Lumio group so we can put you in touch with them. I will focus on Great Britain using the option with pre-filled default values agreed with the regulators. Once you open the form, there is help text to provide you with an introduction. Work through this at your own pace or with your business advisor, if appropriate. Firstly, put in your email address. This is the email address to which your model rules will be emailed when you're done. If you get the email address wrong, you won't receive the rules, so enter it carefully. You also have to accept a Creative Commons license before you can proceed. There's quite a lot of text for you to read through, which explains how the rules are structured. Then you can type in your choices. Type in your name and make sure you capitalise your first name and last name, as your name will appear in the copyright notice of the rules you generate. Where you are asked the name of the organisation, this is the one you work for now, not the name of the organisation you are creating. You can also input your current job title which will appear next to your name on the cover page of the rules you create. The website address is optional. On the next page, you enter the name of the organisation you are creating. In UK law, you also have to give the address of the enterprise, not just the territory it is located within. I'll enter Create a Better Cooperative Limited. Do remember to type this exactly as your laws require including limited or other relevant suffix required by law. You also have to put in your primary social objective. This will be put at the start of the section that commits you to cooperative values and principles. It helps to go through the rest of the rules with somebody who's familiar with a cooperative in order to understand the choices that you can make. As you work through the form, read the text that goes with each user-defined option. For example, in some of these forms you can change the currency. You can set the number of founder shares to reflect the number of people involved in creating the cooperative. I'm going to accept the predefined defaults for now, but you will see that you can change the name of founder shares to something else. Similarly, you can rename labour shares or user shares. In the cooperative movement, people often change investor shares to community shares. I'll do that to show the results. In addition to members of the Fair Shares Association and your cooperative advisor, there is a comprehensive Fair Shares Wiki that provides further technical support. Let me open this to show you how you can find out more about options in the Fair Shares Rules Generator. Firstly, I type fairshares.coop forward slash wiki into my browser. Then, I input what I wish to search for. 
As an example, I'm going to search for member shares. I type this into the Fair Shares Wiki and it will show me the page that describes what member shares are and when they are issued to members. There are options for describing board members and stating when elections to the board are triggered. You can say how many board members there are for each membership class and how many unelected professionals you can co-opt. You can set a wage solidarity ratio, which is a key way to prevent poverty and curb excessive pay for executives. You can set how much money of your surplus goes to financial reserves before you issue patronage refunds, interest payments and dividends. Importantly, you can state what share of a surplus goes to each class of member. At least 50% must go to labour and user members combined. In this demonstration, I will accept nearly all of these defaults, as well as the options for mediation in the event of a dispute. When you get to the final page, you can select Word document and then submit your results. After two or three minutes, you should receive two emails. One email will be the form that you have filled out. It shows you all of the responses that you gave when you filled out the form. A record of this is also stored by the Fair Shares Association. The second email will have a copy of your model rules attached. As a Word document, you can open it and edit it. A PDF copy of this is sent to the Fair Shares Association. However, when you use the FCA accepted model rules for a Fair Shares Co-op in Great Britain, you should be aware that any modification to the rules may require you to pay additional fees to the Financial Conduct Authority. Without changes, the charge for registration is £40, plus any fee the sponsor of the model rules might charge you for obtaining their approval. However, if you edit the model rules, then the FCA may charge you up to £950 for doing due diligence on the changes. There is a sliding scale depending on the number of changes you make. Secondly, you need to get any rules you submit approved by the Fair Shares Institute at Sheffield Hallam University because they are the sponsor of this set of model rules. Outside the UK, you will need to follow the process of approval set by your regulator. I hope you find the rules generator helpful and we certainly look forward to seeing the results. I hope you found that video useful. Uh, we have courses available on the website of the Fair Shares Institute. If you want to study to become a certified practitioner in Fair Shares, point your browser at fsi.coop forward slash courses to find out more information.